eh hey, umesumbua we have respected you tumekubali tumekubali tumeti guys thank you for staying tuned for the longest period of time make sure you continue don't change that dial at michelle shira is where you can get me and uh, on our social media platform that is y254 uh on our facebook page y254 underscore channel that's on our instagram and uh hey, that is we have agreed that it's kenyan and i have seen that you umekubali ume request our kenya the request did not come through you want to facebook Kenyans are really on to it. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Uh, we love you. Continue sending in your feedback. I am trying to get on our Facebook handle and we are almost there in a few minutes. So remember, it's Y254 on our Facebook handle. And we also had a, a, a decipher, which was from a song by Nyashinsky, known as Aminia. And we would like to get your perspective on that. So you can get it on our social media handle. Let me, here we are. It's as simple as this, okay. So we've seen your requests coming through, DJ Rajis. Can you kubali, Kabisa? So they should continue sending in the request. We are not diverting, Kabisa, even at the end of the show. Okay, so we have one um, coming in from uh, Dagoretti. And Asema, he's waiting on Baraka. Oh, yes. Now yeah, I see, I see. So you guys just read my mind. I'm making my morning with good hip hop from the old school. Akina Camillionaire to Joyna Lucas. Lucky you. It's definitely lucky me thanks to hip hoping. Thank you very much. Then we have DJ Rajis Nyangushi Teresa, Teresa by Cypress. Dedication to all ladies. Tukonamungine Emma James. Uh, and I'm uh, Michelle, uh, uh, okay, thank you, thank you. I, I see the love. Nili uh, with a shake, uh, okay. Barry also, shout out to Barry, shout out to all the presenters making Hip Hop Thursday a big thing. So we have a uh, spoiler rap. I'm sure it means what he's saying, may sound like he's on, okay. These are all requests uh, coming through and also comments on the stories of Hip Hop. And remember, Hip Hoping is all about trending stories that have been happening locally, Africa and inter internationally that goes down every single Thursday. Uh, so guys, make sure you tune in for that trendy stories. So in studio we have a guest and people, I think he has hired a crowd before coming on set because people back on uh, social media are really waiting to see uh, how he's going to speak about his music, his musical journey and also coming up album known as uh, why would I say well he's here to mention all that so make sure you reach out to us at Y254 channel his name is none other than Baraka I like to call it Baraka Nation because he comes with a crowd Karibu kwenye hashtag give up Thursday thank you thank you I appreciate it we are glad that you could make it awesome okay yeah. so probably use camera four and uh, introduce yourself and as Rajiz Amesema, when it comes to the wheeling and uh, spinning it, you have to put respect on it. So we would like to equally, equally respect your craft. Yeah. So introduce yourself. So thank you. Uh, I go by the name uh, Troy Baraka. So I'm a Christian rap artist. I'm excited to be here, you know, just, yeah, kind of awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. For guys back at home, yeah. they would like to know for how long you've been into the game and uh, what they should expect more before even we get into the reason why you're here. Because you know it's all about music and your new album coming through. To play like what to do, new makidogo, to be a kunyu me talk and how was music for you all growing up? So, uh, I'm from Dagoretti, Waithaka, you know. Uh, that's my hood, you know, definitely. That's where I'm from. So, I've been there for a while, you know, kind of kind of like began doing music over there, you know, so uh, through a while, you know, got to like uh, link up with some few people, you know, got to understand what rap is all about, you know, before I even, you know, came to understand what God's plan was for me, you know, with my craft and whatever I'm doing. So I'm from Dago. Shout out to the people out there, you know, like uh, sending the support. I appreciate it. It's, it's really amazing, you know. So. And the first time I heard of you, it was after there was a there was a call made in by Octopus, and he was speaking about his yeah. uh, craft, and he was asked the impact he has, he has had into the industry yeah. uh, after because 
Octopus is a well-known artist yeah, all over, or globally, and and he comes from us, and we support his music. And he has a new jam known as Stay. So, and you you did a, yeah, what a I think freestyle, about, uh, and you what, about, 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 what you think about Octopus in the jam. So yeah. the, your your thoughts are very harsh in terms of not really harsh. They were thoughts and your opinions, which basically states that mm. you feel he could have done more to the industry. He could still do something way more into the industry, and that is in terms of the music, and uh, giving back to probably mentoring young artists who are coming through. Yeah, and so you address some of those particular issues that I've yeah, mentioned yeah. in yeah. your in your job. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, just like, you know, I just did it for the love, you know, like we, we, we all like majorly understand what hip hop or rap is all about, you know, it's, you know, like for people who like definitely have grown up, you know, like listening to real hip hop, authentic, well, we kind of like identify the real from the fake. You get what I mean? So like, on my, you know, on my, on my point, point of view, you know, he came out, you know, he came out real cool, humble all the way, you know, like I kind of, I kind of used to look up to him. But, you know, it reached to a position whereby I saw, yo, this guy is kind of drifting off, you know. This is not the kind of person I grew up listening to. And I came to understand, oh, maybe it might be the, you know, might be selling out or maybe the industry or that kind of perspective. Because, you know, like, you can really tell an artist uh, personality uh, through, the, through the kind of music they make, you know. Like, for example, you can tell J. Cole, Kendrick, you know. Uh, Lacrae, all these, all these artists, you, call, you can really, you know, identify the kind of people they are because of the kind of music they make. So if you keep on, like, giving us, you know, like, talking about street bars, mm -hmm. cars, sex, drugs, money, you know, we'll, we'll definitely come to, a, to, a, to, a, to, like, understand, yo, that's the kind of person you are, you know, you get, and, like, definitely, like, for me, I come from Dago, like, it's a broken kind of hood, you, you kind of know the place, crime, drugs, everything, so we're kind of like, yo, if you're trying to reach out to the youth, you can definitely come with something different, you know, you just don't, don't but, have to keep okay. on selling poison to us, you know, okay. we, we come from this kind of communities, you know, you know how it is, you know, so you are, keep it real. for you, for your side, you say that you're mentioning the fact that you accept that he has an impact and that he yeah. has given back in terms yeah. of we also he has an organization uh, that caters for refugees and uh, provides but, a mentorship but on my, for the. my perspective, okay. there, is, there is more that to, he could to, 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 to that. Now, we can all just like, uh, I believe it's good, you know, helping people out, okay. but you know. Uh, most of the people who look up to this guy are not even those, okay. you know, refugees people. Are young people like me. Let's divert from uh, Octopizo now. <laughs> Definitely. Give me an artist I'm who sorry. you he, think, like, cool. uh, yeah. was, was given back to the music industry, uh, even after having his own name out there. Uh, are you talking about Kenya? Let's go by Kenya. Hey, man, I really, I think Giuliani mm -hmm. is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. His music, you know, I kind of, I kind of like met up with him in person. He's a uh, cool person. He be okay. real with you. You know, he tell you it's not a, all about that flashy lifestyle, but he kind of like tell you the real thing. You get? Yes. Kakasungura is kind of cool. Uh, the, the, you know, you get what I mean? Uh, to the States, we had Nipsey. Nipsey was kind of cool, you know? So I believe it's just like uh, the kind of person you are. You know, sure, like, it, like really showcase on your art the kind of person you are exactly yeah. definitely uh, let's go to let's just dive in straight into it baraka the jump that you actually were known for like it was uh, something that it was a song that actually did hit the street and people yeah. knew for it oh baraka yeah so uh kind of made up just with, from your name definitely yeah definitely oh so people know me by troy mm -hmm. so the baraka name came as a result of Baraka Baraka. So definitely, I was in a while back when, when I was like 14, I don't know, 14, 15, 16, Apple, I kind of met up with Othole, mm -hmm. uh, the guy who produced Nico Narizo. Mm -hmm. And like, I kind of had my, you know, my demo CD. Like he came through, he listened to it, and I was like, yo, man, you can really rap. And I was yeah. really young. So he kind of took me in on the terms of mentorship. Through that, I, you know, through like the kind of relationship I, I had with him, you know, getting to know God more. So I came to understand, yo, man, let's, let's really work on something. And I really never knew it would really give me a very huge platform and recognition with people, you know, mm -hmm. because people can really spot the talent, you know, people can say, yo, that guy is really talented. So like, it kind of gave me an opportunity to like link up with people. And at the same time, you know, uh, 
be humbled by the culture. You know? And I've seen the consistency that you have in terms of just releasing audio after audio production of music. Oh, yeah. And uh, the, one of the main reasons why we are here is on your album that is coming through and it's known yeah, as definitely. coming it's soon. Out. You've done it's a, it's a, it's already a out. promo. Okay, it's, it's already, already out. out. We are yeah. yeah, actually launching it. It came out on June 16th. was on my birthday. Okay. Yeah. So you're, you're officially launching it on hashtag hip hop Thursday, yes? Yeah, most definitely, I'm launching there. there so yeah. tell us more about uh, this new project that you, you got. Oh, so comeback season was like, you know, uh, but they, like I produced my, my music, you know, like that whole stuff. So uh, for the comeback season, uh, it was just like, uh, just, as, just like the name states, comeback. Uh, that means like, you know, you're just coming back, it's a comeback season. So. For me, it's like, you know, I was off from the game for a while, so I felt, yo, let me just come back, you know. I actually didn't know the, like, what to name the album. I was just chilling with my sister in the studio, and I was like, yo, you know, my, my small sister, she, she's like 13, uh, 12 album. So she was like, you know, she heard me, and she, I was like, yo, what you think I, I can call the album? And she was like, yo, come back season. Mm -hmm. So, like, my sister kind of gave me the idea. I was like, yo, this is some cool idea. So I kind of kind of popped out on it. Uh, the album majorly had 14 tracks. 14? Uh, Self-produced okay. by me, you know. Like yes, was uh, really uh, awesome. something else that you should actually mention and we get into it, it's all about Baraka Nation. Yeah, yeah. It's so, like, you yeah. also, do, do you work with any other artists apart from uh, you actually uh, sampling your own music, producing mm. your own uh, songs, and yeah. actually now an album? Do you work with any other kind of, uh, any other artists? Do you have any other artists in the label? Uh, uh, definitely for me it wouldn't be artists, it would be sound engineers. Okay. Uh, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have friends from across Africa. So, uh, yeah, so like, here it is, Baraka Nation is, uh, it's, the company is hiring. Uh, for, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it's a company for now, you know, okay. I'm still young, major, I'm, I'm still learning. Right. Though we kind of, uh, we kind of hoping within time we kind of mm. grow, you know. So <laughs> by God's grace, maybe we can call it a company or something. You but should call it a company. For real? Yes. I, let's see you, what the fans about, think about it. You all know? about branding. Oh, yeah, yes. definitely. Mm. Okay, so now coming soon is here the album. Uh, uh, there's a video out for yeah. the first song six. known as Six. Yeah. So maybe you could talk about the that Oh. You should have a single out there on YouTube, actually, people can actually look into oh, it. Oh, yeah, so Six, uh, <laughs> majorly, uh, was like the second, the second track on, on the album. Uh, the inspiration came towards like, you know, like uh, being real, you know, being real as, as a young person and, and understanding that, you know, by the end of the day, all that I do is for the glory of God. So I kind of like kept it that way, you know, Six and you know, a lot of people question, yeah, what, what you call the album Six, you know, mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, sorry, you know. Six. Yeah, because also I was equally six days, wondering. You know, man, man was created on the sixth day. Okay. You know, I'm like, yo, let me just give. For the first time in my life, I'm like, let me just give my song mm -hmm. a number. You know, instead of just calling. And, you if, know, and if we might, yeah, we can yeah, actually look yeah. it into, or you can change it to a nine. Six, yeah, it's, six, it's, six to a nine, <laughs> which is just the same. You know, six <laughs> becomes a nine when it's flipped. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, what should people expect from you in terms of your work? Are you looking in this particular album? Do you have any collaborations, uh, or is it just no Kevin? Uh, Kevin K from the states. Okay. Yeah. So we have uh, featured one artist. Kevin just only K. one artist. All right. I wanted to do it like a solo project because mm -hmm. I felt as if uh, I have so much to really speak about. Mm -hmm. If if you know, I start working with artists like yo, all these all these artists, you know, they were really not like keep up with the vision or maybe what I feel for the album. Okay. Because like for me, whenever I'm working on a project, let's say it's a whole album, for me, I just don't take it like an album like people take it. For me, it's something special. Like from the name, from the art, from everything. Everything just has to go the way it needs to go, on my perspective, because I'm like, ah, I gotta tell a story. So on track one, I have to talk about something that happened. On track 12, I have to, you know, you definitely get what I mean. So I believe, for me, like working on an album solo is because I want to tell my story and I don't believe someone else would be able to tell the story the way I would. Or if, or if I had a friend who's like, yo, mm -hmm. we're kind of uh, going through the same kind of issue, I can be like, yo, just pop in, let's work on the same thing because we kind of vibe into the same vibe. You, you get what I mean? So definitely yeah. the vision is very important. and. Uh, yeah. it, the the fact that if you're in your own zone, yeah. before you feature any artist, you have to, uh, guys, you, what's the word? You have to rank the energy and feel yeah, if you're on the same level. It has to be, you know, for me, working with an artist, uh, I look for people who, who we kind of, 
we, we have all like gone through the same thing in life. Okay. We can identify towards something. Because for me, uh, let's just say for me, for me I wouldn't work with an artist who is, who, who is, who is really praising a certain kind of lifestyle that I don't do, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't smoke, you know, I don't drink. So why should we get on a track and start, you know, doing that whole stuff? So I believe uh, whatever I'm going through, let's, let me get someone who can really identify with that. You get what I yes, mean? Yes, and that value when yeah, the definitely. person comes in yeah. on uh, track. So apart from that, I would like you to give out your social media handles yeah. so people can reach out to you. And mm. uh, maybe you can mention one or two artists you love to collaborate with. Oh. Though even now we know that you're investing more of your content in your creative work. Oh, so yeah. maybe in future, yeah. Oh, see. Oh, uh, so official Troy Baraka, IG, uh, Troy Baraka on Facebook, and then we have Troy Baraka on Twitter. And I think, and then also on YouTube, Troy Baraka too, you know. So uh, uh, definitely for me, artists I would like to work with would be like, uh, let's say for example, what is his name? Yeah, Kalamoto. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like what what he does. You know, looking forward to like work with him, like because he's real towards okay. his art. You know, he's really awesome. Like you know, addressing like you, us yeah, really so issues like, in the society. So, so like for me and him, you know, like, like I, I come from this kind of generation whereby it's like the younger generation. You know, we cannot like get on work on something. So someone else I'd like to definitely work with. Here in Kenya would be Giuliani. Giuliani. Yeah. Giuliani okay. is also. So, so Giuliani, yeah. Kalamoto. And Kalamoto is over there. So there yeah. you got it. So yeah. Baraka gave you uh, his two mm -hmm. uh, main artists that he would love to collaborate in the future. Yeah. But now, yeah. right now, he's officially launching his album known as uh, Comeback Season. Coming. Coming season. Come back season. Come back season. Come back. And uh, the, the, the first track known as Six is officially yeah, out. And DJ Raj has got us on the wheel. So thank you guys for staying tuned on hashtag Hip Hop Thursday. Let's make time. Next Thursday, time frame is 7 to 10.30 every single Thursday. So DJ Raj has got us on that uh, particular song. So 